Okay, uh, latest uh, video. So, what I'm doing today is looking at a microscope. Yeah, you can say I'm looking at the microscope, but why am I doing it right? Well, number one, it's a great hobby. It's a hobby that you can share with your kids. It's there's so many things you can look at. And uh, during lockdown, and I know lockdown uh, restrictions are going to be eased soon. Um, but during lockdown, it's a fantastic hobby. And although this video is not going to be how to, it, it's not going to be a tutorial on how to use a microscope. I just want to explore um, a way of getting into perhaps obtaining a decent microscope for very little money. So what have we got here and why have I got it? Okay, well I do a little bit of um, mushrooming. Um, I like to go out with my daughter and friends. Uh, it's been a little bit difficult last year. Um, because of the restrictions, but it's a great hobby. But sometimes you find you can't identify a particular mushroom, or you might call them toadstools, but you can do what they call a spore print, which is uh, analyzing the spores from the mushroom, and then you can make a pretty positive identification. That's my main reason of buying this. Um, I didn't want to spend a great deal of money and I'm going to talk about that now and why I bought this one. Right, if you want to get into this hobby, the worst thing you can do is buy a cheap new one. And when I say a cheap new one, I mean anything lower than, I dare, dare I say, I'd probably get hammered for this, below £100. You you're not going to get much for your money. The optics will probably be poor. There'll be flimsy bits on it. They just won't stand. The they just won't stand up to it. And um, this is pretty bulletproof, but it does have its limitations. I have to say, if money's no object, fine. Go and buy one of the big four: uh, Nikon, Olympus, Zeiss, and Leica fantastic you won't go wrong with those but we can't all we all afford around a thousand pounds can we I certainly can't so um, I got this little beast now the reason I got this is that uh, because of my past in photography and what have you I know a little bit about optics well I know quite a lot about optics so and I know that these optics are very good when I say optics I mean the lenses and so on also, the construction is pretty good too. Now, a little bit of political history. This is not what we would call a modern Russian microscope. It is not. It's from the old Soviet Union. And after the Second World War, Russia, sorry, the Soviet Union, um, Britain, France, America, they, 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 they pillaged everything from... from from Germany, all the ideas, all the factories and what have you. And the USSR ended up with a lot of these which were Zeiss designs and they continued to manufacture them in the old USSR Soviet Union. Um, they sold them in around the world, especially in this, this country, at a very low price. They, they wanted Western currency to develop their own industries. A lot of schools and colleges and universities bought these. They are old technology, but that's not all bad. Okay, so that's the reason I went for this. The other reason I went for is you can get them cheap on eBay if you know what you're looking for. The Lomo Biolam comes in various um, various models. They all look similar. Some have, uh, some have illumination, which is a drawback with this one, but I'll show you a little trick in a minute. I wouldn't be too fussed if you're going to go for one of these, if you find one with the illumination, because the illumination that it comes with, the electric illumination, that is with the bulb position here instead of the mirror, uh, is not very good. The modern microscopes that you might buy brand new are all LED now. 
uh, and are much better. So I wasn't that concerned about that. Um, in fact, going back to prices, if, uh, I should have said, but if you if you want to buy a decent microscope brand new, I think you're going to be looking. Probably the cheapest one I would buy is about two hundred and fifty pounds, and that 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 is a Chinese microscope uh, marketed by a company called Swift of America. But, but it is a Chinese microscope. You can get the same model under different names, but I don't know what the quality control is like. So, what have I got with this? Well, um, as I said, they came in. They come in different models. You might find, but there's a couple of things that I wanted, and I think I need to point out. As I said, it's not a tutorial in, in how to use a microscope, but there are a couple of things that you need to know about. I really do advise you to look at some of the uh, some. Uh, videos on YouTube on on how to buy a microscope, what sort of microscopes that, that are available before you even consider it. And then come back and have a look at this video and see what you think. Basically a microscope has um, what they call a viewfinder which are interchangeable. You might find the one that you buy comes with two, three maybe, but as long as it comes with uh, say a ten times eyepiece they called an ocular actually, an ocular, um, you'll be fine. Then you'll find a rotating turret, which is where your lenses fit. These are all screw fit, and as long as you buy uh, something pretty standard, which this is, if you come across other lenses, they will screw in. In fact, I've, since buying this, I've got one or two different ones. I've got a couple of British lenses. In fact, I've got a British lens on this, an old Vickers which is excellent. Um, in fact, I've got the, the Russian one in the box. It's a superb optic, but I just prefer the British one for some reason, I don't know. Perhaps it's just patriotism, I don't know. And the lenses come in different magnifications. Now, don't get carried away with magnification. I need something that went up to about 600 times, that's 600 power um, for sport mushroom spores, anything below that well, is not worth it but I don't really need anything more powerful than that and the more powerful you go the less quality you're going to get unless you go into as I say the big four or even up to electron microscopes which I think are just not affordable um, yeah if you're looking at one of these there's just a couple of points that uh, I would I would suggest you look at before you purchase one and the main thing is is down to the focusing. The optics you get on any of these models are all the same. They're beautiful, honestly. So that's not an issue as long as it's clean, they haven't got any mold inside them, uh, which I, I, I do admit you can't test. But you know, if you're buying off eBay, you've got to ask the question, are the optics clean? And you should get an honest answer. You get a focusing, so you can focus on your sample. Um, but the main thing is, is this wheel here, which is a fine focus. That is, although not essential, makes life a lot easier. That's a coarse focus that gets you into the specimen and that makes it finer. Um, this has a rotating wheel on the base. Most microscopes have another knob. Not to be confused with this knob here on the side which is for the condenser. Now there's another thing. The condenser, these microscopes come with a condenser which sit underneath here. I'm not going to take it out, but it's a lens assembly for the light and incorporates an iris which closes and opens with a lever. I'm trying not to make this a microscope tutorial. Check it out, it's really useful. Um, when I bought this, I had a problem. Uh, it was so stiff and this uh, fine focus wheel was virtually seized. Um, so I stripped it down. Uh, it's a dog to strip down. And the problem is the grease they used during the initial assembly. Um, I think it's out, out of one of the, the, the grease they use is probably something that used um, in the old tank, the TU tanks from the Second World War, but it was totally seized. 
I had to clean it out. It was a big job. It took me two or three hours. And I used this elbow grease. This is fantastic to degrease it. And it fetched all the old grease out eventually. Don't clean the optics with it, you'll ruin them. So make sure you keep the optics away, take the condenser lens out, the mirror out and everything. You're just doing the mechanicals with this, just the mechanicals. Everything else you can use a soft cloth, a uh, little microfiber cloth. I did it, now really I should have contacted the seller. Uh, which I did actually afterwards, I thought I'd better tell him what I'd done. And he was really kind, he said you should have come back to me. He says I sorted that out for you. Um, he said, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll knock you some money off. Which is really nice of him. But I said to him, I said, well, is there any chance that you can find a mechanical stage for it? Now, a mechanical stage is this device that's on here, which allows you, now let me just take this out. I say it's not a tutorial, but you have slides that you put your specimens on. You can buy pre-prepared uh, pre uh, specimens which are really good as well. So you can try the mic microscope out straight away. If I do say microphone, I do apologize because uh, I have them, those things on my mind as well. But I do mean microscope every time I say. Um, so this mechanical stage moves the slide uh, both vertically and horizontally by two, um, two knobs here on the side, which you can see. Right, up and down left and right that's fabulous that's fabulous for fine control because when you're on high magnifications it's a little bit tricky to control um, what you would usually find and you'll probably find when you buy the microscope you'll have two clips right these are two clips which wholly slide down which work but it's just a little bit fiddly now, as far as the light source is concerned, ideally you would have an LED light source under there to just switch on, uh, but this didn't come with one. So what I've got, I bought this from Lidl, and you can see this little table on, it's an LED table on, which I switch on, and I direct the light onto the mirror, and it's, it's perfect, it's really, really good. What can I say? So, mechanical stage, four extremely good optics, plus I've got, it came with two ocular lenses, a 15 and a 10, and uh, it's a brilliant machine. Also, if you're lucky, you might find it comes with a box, and this is the original Soviet Union USSR box, with a key to keep prying hands away from it. Um, yeah, what did I pay for it? £70. £70. The guy managed to get me a mechanical stage. It's a USSR one, a proper one for this microscope. So I'm happy here. It works fabulous. Now, there's another thing that you might want to consider. Some microscopes come with binocular vision, that's two viewfinder lenses. Now unfortunately most of these don't, they do do a model with the twin but I haven't been able to find one and I've got used to it so it's not really a big deal for me, I've got used to using one eye and that's fantastic so but let's say you want to take some photographs of your specimens. Now I, I, I looked around and I, I was thinking if in an I've got a decent uh, digital SLR, excuse me, mounting that on there, but I think it's a bit too bulky. You can get, with some microscopes, what they call a, a, a tri a, a triocular, uh, and it has three turrets, uh, sorry, three tubes, two for the binocular vision, and one that sits up there that you can mount a camera on, which is far more stable. This doesn't. So I looked around and on eBay, you can get these, which is a mobile phone holder. These are absolutely brilliant, about five or six quid. And uh, I've, I've mounted uh, one of these onto this. Um, 
okay, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, you, it didn't take two seconds to change it. And all you do is you pop, uh, pop this in there, like that, okay, uh, turn it down that way, and then you can mount your mobile phone, I think you get the idea, in there. It takes a little bit of filling around, but the image quality is superb. I mean, I'm using the Samsung S10. I don't know how it works with other phones, but the image quality is superb. As I say, it's not a tutorial. I can't show you any uh, examples because I'm not te that technically in front. So, there we go. £70, and I would say you'd be hard pushed to get anything as well as robust and of the same optical quality for less than £300. Now that's a pretty bold statement but I, I do know what I'm talking about in that department so yeah what a great hobby and uh, as I say apart from the grease issue which I think you'll get with a lot of these just ask the seller are there any issues with the lenses and you'll be fine you can buy this model if you look hard enough under the uh, under the name Bressa now Bressa the early models and I'm not talking about the late Bressa models the early models they bought from the same company in Russia um, they were made to a budget so you don't normally get the fine focus on them but you do get the same optics and you can pick them up for about 25, 30 pounds. So if you're not too worried about the fine focus, go ahead and get one of those. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.